JDTV, where it's so fresh, you'll want to rewind and play it again. Hello and welcome to JDTV with me, Jack Delaney. Yes, we are on episode 8, it's the battle round. It is starting to get serious now. All the judges have picked their contestants who they want on their team. And we've seen them go head to head in the first round of the battles. Yes, it was tense. We saw some great performances. We saw tears. We saw emotion. We saw cheers. And yes, we saw steals. There was a lot of stealing going on. Boy George was loving it. Paloma was loving it. And I was loving it. I thought episode 8 and the battle rounds are fantastic. They're my favourite. Yes, I've got these gloves on. I thought battle rounds. Let's get into the swim of it. But what I didn't think is... I really can't do the rest of this video with these on. They are sweating. So I'm really going to have to take these off. If you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Because as you know, I love doing these videos. And I'm doing these videos reviews all the way up to the live final. Because I want to find our 2016 winner of the brand new series of The Voice. I'm loving it. Please, if you love this video, give it a massive thumbs up. And remember to subscribe down below on my YouTube channel, Official Jenny TV. So, let's get started. So before we get started, I'd like to say, because The Voice was on for two hours, and it was so fantastic, I thought I'd do a part two. So once you've watched part one, which is this one, my top five, please head over to my YouTube channel and check out part two, where I have picked another five to review. So this week, I have picked the 10 battle rounds to review. I thought they were fantastic and I had to do more. I loved it. Previously in the practice room, contestant Jack is rehearsing for his big battle performance. Hey Will, thank you so much for choosing me. I can't believe we're at the battle rounds already. It's the practice room, I'm ready. Thank you for uh, your time and uh, cheering me on. I hope we can make magic together. So um, I've done a few bits of songs. I've uh, thought about it. I've gone away and uh, I hope uh, you like what you hear today. And uh, here goes really. I'm a little bit nervous so uh, please stay with me. But um, I really hope I got what it takes. And I want to prove to everyone in the battle rounds that I can do this. So here goes. This is my first song. Just... Tell me what you think, go with the flow, and uh, yeah, just be honest, because as you know, you're the main man, you know what you're talking about, so here goes. Sorry, sorry, I just just messed up there, so I missed the key, missed it, missed it, missed it. So here we go. For all the times that you made my parade. And all the times you gave me some money You never think you broke my heart, oh goodness sake You think I'm crying, no, well, oh, well I ain't Didn't wanna write a song Cause I didn't want anyone thinking I still care, I don't know You still hear my phone up, come on Mama don't like you and she likes everyone Cut, 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 stop, sorry, it's just not working. Um, can I just try some accounts? I've been practicing the guitar at the moment. Let me just put this down, you hold this and uh, yeah. Something else that I learned, I'm a massive guitarist and I thought um, I'd bring something new to the, uh, the uh, battle rounds and new to me and I really want to win this and I think I got what it takes, so here it goes. You should know this one, it's um, a little bit better than your songs out there. Here we go, sorry, so I'm a, just a little, little bit nervous. Well, I think I'm ready, so I'm just really nervous. Here we go, here we go. One, two, three. When your letters don't work that like they used to before. Feel it, Ed. And I can't sweep you off of your feet. Oh yeah, will your master remember the taste of my love? 
Will your eyes still smile from your cheek? Cause darling I will be loving you till we're 23 and Darling I have to forget part of 23 And I'm thinking about how People fall in love in mysterious ways Thank you so much for your time Will I'm really going to bring it to the battle round I want to show you and the three other coaches That I have got what it takes And I really want to win this competition So thank you very much And good night Well, well that was Jack in the practice room with his coach will i am we wish him all the best for his battle round performance so the first one i've chosen to review for you guys today is cody and heather ball george's team and they battled first i love cody and i'm so glad both of them went through yes there was a steal Plumer stole heather heather is a great singer and i loved both of them and singing a great song and I thought together they were just really good loved what Heather's wearing and I always love the style of Cody she's very unique and very different and I think that's what the voice needs a bit of uniqueness and she's got a fantastic voice and she did it disappoint a great song and I thought these two together they're fantastic Sometimes I think they've got similar voices and I thought this is a really hard choice for our boy George and I thought who's he going to choose? For me it was Cody because her voice like then is amazing, the crowd love it and everyone's loving it. But I thought Heather as well is a great singer and you can't let her go and Plame had done the right decision and stole her so they're both through and uh, We'll see more of them in the next round. So that was Cody and Heather. Both very, very happy with that and I loved it. Next up, we have got Tom and Brooklyn battling against each other. It's Ricky's team and he chose a great song. To be honest, I can't remember a lot of Brooklyn, but I always remember Tom's uh, blind audition because he's got a great voice and he's got the moves. Yes, he's been on telly in his acting career, but he wants to really do his dream of singing. And I thought he was a great guy, but unfortunately, uh, Ricky uh, went for Brooklyn, which I'm really happy for her. But um, no one stole Tom. The judges only had um, a couple of steals, so they can't steal everyone. And they really need to think strategically who's going to win and who do they like. And unfortunately, no one went for Tom, so um, that's farewell to Tom and that's the last we'll see of him. But I really liked this battle round. I think um, two great voices and they worked well in. Tom was bringing out the moves and I thought they looked great, but um, I think Brooklyn's a bit stronger and... Uh, She's more about her voice and I think uh, she could go a long way with the right songs and I think he does his magic. Uh, I look forward to seeing uh, more of her and, uh, but I'm really sad about Tom because I did like him but um, yeah that was their battle and I thought it was a great battle but uh, yeah Brooklyn uh, won that fair and square. Next up and what I like to say first I'm delighted that Jordan is back. Plomo re picked Jordan back on her team and she made it to the battle round. She didn't get through on her blind audition, but she is back and I'm so glad. So, um, yeah, this is Jordan's and Theo's performance. And what a uh, great performance it was. It was so emotional and so um, tense. And with the song, I'll play the chose. It was great. They both got great voices and uh, yeah, I loved this one. This was uh, one of my favourites of the night really and one I will remember. I've watched this quite a lot and listened to both of them because I think Theo has got a great voice but uh, for me it's Jordan. She's got to be in this competition. And then, out of the blue, and I didn't think would happen, 
Theo got stolen by Will I Am. Will I Am turned and stole him off of Paloma. And I didn't really see that coming, but I'm glad he'd done it because they got both have got great voices. But back to this battle, it was so like it wasn't like they were battling. It was like they were singing together. And um, they really believed in each other and wanted both to go through. Next up we got Chloe and the Bouncer. I love these two for two reasons. Chloe is very unique and different. And I think the Bouncer, the good old lad, he's got a fantastic voice. And um, yeah, like what George said, really special. And I thought um, Chloe showed a different spin of that. In the um, blind audition, we saw um, another side of her, and this time we've seen a different side, which I love. She really um, complimented each other in this battle round, and it was just very emotional again, and sort of sweet. Working together, they both want to get through, and they're both helping each other, and they both got fantastic voices. But for me, Chloe's the stronger one. And I thought Chloe looks great, she sounds great, and um, they're holding hands, you know, they're working together, and it's just a very nice watch, and uh, I love this battle performance, it was a really uh, good one, and I thought they both done really well, and Plomer should be really happy with both of them, because uh, they done some great work, but in the end, Plomer went for Chloe, but yes, we had another steal. Boy George stole the lad. And uh, they're both through, so we will see them in the next round. And I'm happy for both of them. Finally, another Boy George battle. We had Lauren and Tobias. I love Lauren. She's very unique and very different. And I also um, have to be honest about Tobias. It's not a blind audition that sticks with me and I can't really remember it. Well, great song, loved this. And, but I didn't really think Boy George had a tough decision. It had to be Lauren. She's got a strong voice and she looks strong and looks powerful. And she, I'm delighted for Lauren and I'm glad she's in the competition because her voice is incredible and she looks incredible. And I feel a real connection with her and Boy George. And with the right song like this song, this was perfect. I think they could make magic and together, who knows what could happen. So that was it, that was my top five battle auditions from this week's BBC Voice episode eight. Remember, I've done a part two, so head over to my YouTube channel where you can find part two, because I picked another five of the battles, because I thought the battle round, it was on for two hours, we had some great battles, emotional, powerful battles, loads of steals, loads of emotion, loads of crying, and I thought episode eight was amazing, so I had to do a part two, because it would be silly not to, because we saw some great artists again, we've seen them at the blind auditions, now they're at the battles, the gloves are on, they were battling against each other, everyone wanted that place in the next round, some people got it and we saw some people go home and I'm sorry for the people that went home but some have a bright future and I'm sure that's not the last of them. So yes, if you like this video please give it a massive thumbs up because it really helps me a lot. I love the voice and as you know I'm doing these videos all the way up to the live finals. I love reviewing it so please stay tuned and remember to subscribe below at Official JD TV and stay tuned and you'll be the first to catch my latest videos and I really appreciate that and thank you so much for your support. So thank you so much for watching and remember part 2 is coming real soon on my YouTube channel. Till next time, I've been Jack Delaney, you've been watching episode 8 of the battle. Thank you so much for watching, take care.